Good morning. I'm tired. I actually got out pretty early. It's like 7.30. Last night I slept inside the Kirkridge shelter. There was one other Nobo there who I met for the first time yesterday. He's actually attempting the AT and the CDT in the same year. So he has a pretty fast pace. I didn't notice this until this morning, but right above me in the shelter last night was a bird's nest and there were baby birds in there. And then this morning, I just kept watching a bird go back and forth, bringing something to the nest. So that was pretty cute. And I woke up really tired and a little bit of a headache. I know I didn't drink enough water yesterday, so I put my element right in here. And so I'm trying to get my electrolytes in this morning. I got about six miles until I get to Delaware Water Gap and I'll probably hang out in town for a little bit resupply, get some food, and then hike on. Depending on how I feel. If I still have a headache, I might stay there, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get better <laughs> within the next six miles. The headaches usually go away pretty quick. This is so tough. I'm so tired, but I know I got a lot of sleep. I actually went to bed kind of early. My headache hurts, and it's just kind of making me feel nauseous. Like, I feel like I could throw up, but I'm not. I did just have a couple Advil but I have to restock on those when I get into town. Um, but yeah, it's a mix of just like being really tired and having a headache. I don't know, I'm not going very fast right now. Uh, I am drinking a lot of my electrolyte water. I feel like some people will get mad at me, but I feel like an iced coffee would really help. Usually I take Exeterin migraine and those help really quick. And I think it's because they have caffeine in it. So maybe I have my Advil, my snack, and my electrolytes right now. And then go into town and get a coffee. Maybe that will help. Who knows. Or maybe I'll just wake up at some point and feel better. This is rough. There's a little peak of the Delaware River down there. Which I will cross sometime today. I'm coming down into Delaware Water Gap right now. Feeling better, maybe at like 90%. But my plan is to sit in dunks for a while, let my phone charge, download the next Far Out app, eat a lot, drink a lot. Uh, what else? Maybe download some more podcasts for the next few days, figure out where my next resupply is. Because I have no idea. Uh, I don't really remember New Jersey that well. I know my husband visited when I was in New Jersey. I took a double zero and I had a lot of support. So I gotta figure out like where I can resupply myself this time and maybe figure out where the next place I can stay is. It's like 12.45 right now. I was at Dunks for like an hour and then I just resupplied at the Gulf gas station. Spent maybe like $40 resupplied on a ton more snacks, protein bars, ramen, Advil, etc. All the good things. I've been in town for like hours at this point. <laughs> I charged everything at Dunkin' Donuts. So my phone, my battery bank, my earbuds. He's, I'm wearing them right now. And I ate three tacos at Dunks and my large iced coffee. And I am good to go. Good to head back to the trail. I don't have to stay overnight in town. I think I did everything I needed to do. Downloaded the next map, downloaded some more podcasts and videos and stuff to keep me entertained for the next couple days. So it's very productive. It doesn't look like there's many shelters, but it does look like there's a lot of like tent sites in New Jersey. And I figured out my next resupply, which is gonna be Port Jervis. I might have to organize a shuttle to get in there, but yeah, everything is looking good right now. Also, it does look like it could rain at any second, but it's honestly hasn't rained on me in a while, so I'll be fine if it does.
gonna be so noisy. I'm about to start walking over the bridge over the Delaware River and enter New Jersey. <laughs> it's gonna be loud, but it's also gonna be really exciting crossing this state line. This bridge is shaking a lot when the trucks are going by. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, there is that, less than 900 miles until Mount Katahdin. All right, just getting off the bridge now. I think it's a little quieter. I did some of the calculations last night. Pennsylvania was 231 miles. I did it in exactly 10 days, which averages over 23 miles per day, which I think is incredible. <laughs> that was a lot of work. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up the 23 miles per day average. A lot of that was thanks to my mom who helped slack pack me and bring me back to the Hampton Inn every night for four nights in a row, but I'm on my own. We'll see how well I can do. I'll probably hike until eight o'clock tonight. We'll see. I'm excited to be in a new state. I climbed for a while and then got to Sunfish Pond. This was a pretty cool surprise up here. This is my second tick already of New Jersey. I just think it's so pretty and green up on this ridge. And it, it never rained. I said earlier that it kind of looked like it was gonna rain. It cleared up, but now it's mostly blue skies. I was just kind of getting pissed off because honestly, all the feedback and comments from me doing this new hike have been incredibly positive. Like, I love reading the comments. Everyone's so nice and supportive and it means a lot to me, but I just have this one dude who's relentless, doesn't like anything I do out here, complains about everything. And I blocked him because I don't need that negativity in my life, but... I've noticed he makes these comments on other YouTubers' channels about me, and it's just, it's uncalled for. He's wasting so much of his time um, just trying really hard to put me down. And yeah, I get, I get pissed off for a second when I read it, but then like, I just take a couple more steps down the trail, and then this is what I see. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm out here having so much fun. Yes, it's a lot of work, but I'm just so grateful for this life. And it's just crazy that I'm having fun. I'm, I'm a pretty positive person and for someone to just put so much of their energy into hating my through hike and the content that I make, it's just uh, not worth it for me to get upset over. This is incredible. The view, the day, everyone watching this. He's blocked. He's upset that he's blocked. That's probably it, but that's that. You guys just see a bear? Yeah, I just saw something run into those woods. So here's the story. I heard some rustling in the woods and it was the same rustling that you hear when you see a deer. Um, so when I looked over expecting a deer, I just saw this big black blob. And then the rustling 
kind of sound more like thumping. So I was like, oh, that's a, a bear. I'm pretty sure. I was pretty sure at that point. Uh, and then right after I saw that, I saw a group of hikers hiking towards me. And that's when I asked if they saw a bear. And I don't think you could hear them, but they were like, yeah, it was right on the trail in front of us. It was massive. And so I'm thankful when they scared the bear, it didn't run like straight down the trail because then that would have been towards me. The bear ran uh, to the side off into the woods. That would have been terrifying <laughs> if the people in front of me scared the bear and it started sprinting towards me. Um, Maybe the bear saw me before I saw it and then kind of veered off in the woods. But the group of hikers that I saw, they were prepared. They had their bear spray in their hands, but they didn't need it. In the last few years, I have hiked 3,800 miles of the Appalachian Trail. And I just saw my first bear. <laughs> I knew this day would come. buddies. They're all hanging out. So I just stocked up on some water. I have over... No, just about two liters of water because I don't think I'm going to camp near a water source. So I have one and a half miles to go and it's 7.38 p.m. which is great. I do feel like I have a lot of energy. Like I feel like I could still hike for a few more hours. It doesn't really feel like it's that late, but I don't know. With the bear I saw today and the fact that I haven't edited a YouTube video in five days, <laughs> I feel like I should just get to camp, edit, and not night hike. I think that's the responsible decision. <sighs> but I do have energy, so maybe I'll hike a big day tomorrow. We got a little sunset going on. It's hard to tell in the video, but this tent has a light diffusing pocket that I can just put my headlamp in and this tent is like perfectly illuminated. So I'm in my brand new tent, which I'm really excited about. The tent site that I saw in Far Out, I got to it and there were about five tents set up there and it seemed like everyone was already in their tents for the night. So I didn't really want to go up to them and make noise and try to figure out to set, where to set up my tent. So I just walked down the trail a couple more minutes and I'm right off the trail, barely a flat spot, <laughs> barely enough room for this one person tent. but. I got here late and I'll probably leave early tomorrow morning. Just made a little cup of ramen and that's going to do it for the night. So today was maybe like 21-ish miles. I don't know. It's in the description. I still have to figure that out. But yeah, today went really well. Spending a lot of time in Delaware Water Gap, coming into New Jersey. Once I got up on the ridge in New Jersey, I kind of just hiked slow, took it all in, meandered a little bit. But yeah, it was a really, really nice day and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.